One of the longest standing questions in the gym world is do fitness trackers work? Of course they work. If they didn't, companies wouldn't be able to sell them. What we're referring to when questioning whether they work or not is the accuracy to things like sleep, steps, heart rate, and calories burned. I think it's time for a little experiment. So I recently joined the Whoop Craze, the 4.0. We're gonna head down to David Lloyd, do a back and bicep session, a cycle session, and compare the heart rate and calories burned on the Whoop, the Garmin Iver Phoenix 6, and the Polar H10. Okay, study over. Can we call it a study? Can I put this four to PubMed? TM Cycles et al. What we'll do now is compare the calories and heart rate, so beats per minute, using the Garmin, the Polar H10, and the Whoop. We'll begin with the weightlifting session. 522 calories burn Garmin, 506 calories burn Polar, and 330 Whoop. So quite a big difference with the Whoop there. On to average heart rate beats per minute, 130 Garmin 129 Polar, so quite similar, and 122 Whoop. On to the bike session, the cycle ride that we did on the Watt bike. 333 calories burned Garmin, 312 calories burned Polar, 275 Whoop. Average heart rate beats per minute, 159 Garmin, 159 Polar, so exactly the same, and then 155 with the Whoop. What can we conclude from that? What can we draw? Now, based on the research, when we compare wrist models, to chest with the fitness trackers and chest having that slight edge in terms of accuracy, the Polar H10 is a chest and the fact that it's very similar to that of the Garmin, then based on this, the superiority lies with the H10 and the Garmin, which is slightly disappointing because I, I did have high hopes for the Whoop. It's early days, like I said, I'm gonna hold judgment because uh, it's only day three. There's a few features that I'm yet to unlock with the Whoop, so that could potentially play a part in the data with this and it being slightly off and the fact that it's not calibrated just yet. But uh, looking at the reviews on the Whoop 3.0 and a few people not being happy, the director said that the Whoop 4.0 has seen a 10% increase in accuracy. Is that enough to rival things like the Polar H10 and the Garmin? Who knows? I did look on the internet for anything similar. This Reddit user called Rearview Mirror did a, a very similar study, Whoop 4.0 on the wrist, Polar H10 and the Phoenix, and he put in brackets next to the Whoop, not great news. And uh, he went on to say that the... The, the Polar H10 and the Garmin were far more accurate and the results and the data were way off with the Whoop. So yeah, it's slightly annoying because I, I was excited about this. I waited for it a long time, but I'm starting to now question, is it overhyped? Is it overpriced? When we know that the Garmin, for example, can track steps and the Whoop can't, the Garmin can equally track HRV as well as the, the Polar H10. I remember the early, the early days when me and Callum were working together, he made us download an app called Elite HRV and we did that every single morning. But if you are looking for something that's practical, you can see it on, you know, you can see a face, it's around the, the wrist, it does steps, it does HRV, it does calories burned, then I'd probably be leaning more toward the Garmin. I think the Polar H10 is fantastic. It's it's uh, something that I'd, I'd recommend users try and, or, or kind of have in the arsenal. I think it's a, a really good tool to have. I'm going to hold judgment on the Whoop. I'm going to give this another another review in a few weeks' time. I'd like to see if it can go in the pool as well and do a, a couple of other experiments, maybe like a row run, for example, again, using the Polar and the Garmin. But just off the, the back of this, mm, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit disappointed. I've paid for the year, I've paid for the full annual membership, so I don't want to close the door on it just yet. I'm gonna stick with it, wait for it to unlock the strain because I'm quite interested to see that recovery element every single morning. Because I know uh I know Lou's a big fan and it's very interesting to see when he goes on nights out and see that recovery drop off. But like I said, when you've got things like the Polar H ten and the Garmin that may potentially be slightly more accurate. Is this really worth it? I want to finish on my thoughts in general on fitness trackers. 
because that's a, that's a frequently asked question that I get. And my advice would be find one that you are comfortable with and that you like and stick with it because it, it, it goes with that that question my coach has set me 200 calories of cardio on like every day for example do i use the machine or do i use my apple watch or fitbit and my answer to that is stay consistent choose the machine choose the apple watch choose the fitbit and stay consistent the worst thing for anyone to do on prep is to start tracking different tools so if you're doing like the machine, the cardio machine one week and then onto the Apple Watch the other, there's going to be some difference there. So my advice would be experiment with a few, do what I'm doing now, find one that you are used to. I think a, a, a big part of these things is how comfortable you are using the app, for example. I, I still feel like Apple Watch is probably a little bit more superior in terms of the, the functionality of it. But if I were to com compare the Apple Watch and the Garmin, I think I'd be... be be team Garmin. I feel like it's slightly more robust on the wrist. I do prefer it. But uh, yeah, that'll be my advice in terms of what I feel or what are my thoughts on fitness trackers. Find one that you're comfortable with, experiment with a few, and then just be as consistent with it as possible. And uh, we'll do a few more of these style videos. See if I can take them into the pool, take them on a road run as well. And we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions on the Garmin, any questions on the Whoop or the Polar H10, do drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you very soon. Thank you, good night. Much love.